Hello everyone. Unused resources is one of the main reason of unexpected cloud costs. Most of the organizations don't have reclaim strategy defined, which means if a project is getting completed or an application has to be decommissioned, then there should be a proper process to be followed. For example, if you are deleting a virtual machine, you need to delete the virtual machine, its network resources, and the data disk, as well as the OS disk. When there is no proper reclaim strategy, in those cases, application teams sometimes just delete the virtual machine and the other resources which are attached to the virtual machine are not reclaimed and remain unused. And all these resources over the time incurs cost and add up to the cloud bill. Unfortunately, there is no way you can find all the unused resources. You have to go to each service and check all the resources of that service which are not in use. And if you're using any PowerShell or any scripting, in that case too, you have to run that script for a particular service, get all the resources which are unused and then run the script for another service. But in this video, I'll talk about a method where you can centralize mostly all the unused or the orphan resources in your Azure environment. So I'll be using the Azure Monitor workbook to centralize all the unused resources from where you can view all the resources and then plan their deletion. So let's start. So this is the GitHub repo, which is created by Dolev Show. He is a fast track engineer from Microsoft and he has created the workbook where all the unused resources will look something like this. You can click on the service and all the unused resources in that service will be listed. And here is a list of the resources like app service plan, availability set, manage disk, SQL elastic pool, public IP. And these are the networking resources and other resources too. And you can see a dollar sign in front of the resources. So if these resources are lying unused, in those cases, mostly they incur charges. However, there are certain resources like route tables, resource group, they don't incur charges but still your environment looks cluttered. So it's highly recommended that if the resources are not in use, they should be reclaimed on time. So to implement this, let's go to Azure portal. I'm in the Azure portal, look for Azure monitor and go to the workbooks, create a new workbook. And instead of creating it from here, go to the advanced editor and now Go back to GitHub link, Orphan Resources, click on Workbook and there, there is one JSON file, another is Workbook file. Click on Workbook file, copy the contents and paste it here. Apply and as soon as you apply, it will start showing all the resources. You can select multiple subscriptions from here, but there is only one subscription. You can choose based on the resource group. And let's go down. I have few resources created for this. So app service plan zero. There are two disks which are unused. There is one public IP. There is one load balancer, two subnets, one resource group. So this is kind of a centralized view. Now go to the compute and you can see all the resources. There is no app service plans. We don't have any availability set. If we'll go on storage, orphan managed disk, there are two disks which are not in use. So it will show all the details. So these two disks are not in use. So you can go to these resources and reclaim them. Now if we'll go to the database, SQL, there is no SQL. So it, it's showing as zero in the networking. There are multiple like public IPs. There is one public IP. That is the detail of the public IP, which is not in use. Network interface cards, there is none. Network security groups, there is one network security group which is not in use. So all these resources will now be listed. So for now, I have just edited this workbook, but you can also save this workbook. Let's select any resource group and name it as unused resources. And save as. It will save a workbook there and it's saved. Now if we'll go back to overview and then to the workbooks, 
and you can see there is an unused resources workbook which is deployed in RG Orphan. And once you will click on this, you can come here and see all the resources. Getting refresh, you can set the auto refresh as on. It will scan all the subscriptions in your environment and then get all the unused resources or the orphan resources for your environment. Then you can go to the different tabs like networking and check what are the different resources. Then from here you can go back to that resource, check oh it's not in use, it's not associated, you can delete it, you can follow the reclaim strategy. In most of the organization you cannot reclaim any resource like that. You need a cab approval or the change approval. So you need to create a change and then get it approved. So follow all those reclaim strategies and then reclaim all the resources. So to summarize this video, we have deployed one Azure Monitor workbook which centralized all the unused and orphan resources in the Azure environment. And you can use this runbook across the multiple subscriptions too. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.